In this video, I'm going to show you how you can buy and sell your crypto with the Gemini Exchange. Welcome to Everbit Helps. I hope you find today's video useful, and if you do, then please give it a like and share. Plus, for the latest information on Gemini, please check out everbithelps.co.uk. Gemini Exchange is a regulated cryptocurrency exchange, wallet, and custodian that makes it simple and secure to buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, and various other cryptocurrencies. The exchange was launched in 2015 in the United States by the Winklevoss brothers, who rose to fame in 2004 after they sued Mark Zuckerberg over Facebook. And they've now expanded their operations in Europe and Asia too. Whether you're an experienced trader or just getting started and buying your first Bitcoin, Gemini has a range of tools to help you buy, sell, or store your crypto. First, they have the exchange which is a great for researching the crypto market, buying Bitcoin and other cryptos, and building up your portfolio. They also have Gemini Mobile, enabling you to trade crypto on the go and puts the industry's best crypto exchange and wallet into your hands. Then there's Gemini's safe, secure wallet, which supports all of their listed assets, and you can store your assets in their insured hot wallet system. And there's more advanced functionality with Active Trader and Gemini Custody. And with so many tools that Gemini offer, it'll be difficult to cover everything in this video. So I'll just be covering the Exchange and Active Trader. However, I'll also create separate tutorials for the rest of their product suite. And I'll take you through depositing your funds, buying your crypto, selling, and withdrawing from the site. We'll also take a look at the different fees and the fee structure as we go along, as this can appear a little bit confusing with so many different types here. Plus, I'll also show you how you can go about reducing some of these. So let's jump into it. And if you don't already have an account and you want to get started, they offer sign-up bonuses with $10 of free Bitcoin for you and I once you buy or sell $100. And I'll pop my link in the summary below for that. Now, Gemini is a centralized and regulated exchange, and therefore, you'll need to enter in your personal details, such as your name, address, and photographic ID. And the exchange is available in the majority of the US states, in the UK, Canada, Hong Kong, Puerto Rico, Singapore, and the South Korea. So once you've completed your sign up or logged in, you'll be presented with the dashboard. And we're over in the market tab at the top here. If you've just signed up, it will prompt you to verify your email and add a funding source if you haven't already done so. To add a funding source or deposit, you can go to transfer at the top here and choose deposit. And you can deposit fiat or crypto directly into here. And crypto and bank transfers are free, but you'll need to pay 3.49% when purchasing credit or debit cards, which I'll show you shortly. Now, as this is a new account for me, I deposited my funds a little earlier, just to see how long it would take and transferred across from my Revolut account. When searching through their FAQs, it said it might take a business day or so to actually complete. But luckily enough, this actually happened in just under 10 minutes. Now, obviously some banks will differ and some won't support the purchase of crypto either, but I've always used Revolut with the likes of Coinbase and it's always been pretty much instant on that platform too. If you are transferring with bank transfer, please just remember to add the reference number that's shown up on your screen as this is what will map your bank account and the Gemini account together. So now that I have some funds to trade with, let's take a look around the screen. So at the moment, we're on that market tab and it will show you your portfolio summary in the top of the screen here with my available balance and I can track this over specific periods of time. I can also head across to my portfolio, which will take me to the portfolio tab, which we'll take a look at in a little bit later. Then under market, you've got a list of all the different types of cryptocurrencies available that you can buy or sell. Plus you can also create alerts for. 
If you're interested in viewing market data about Bitcoin, for example, first it will show you some basic data, such as the likes of the price, 24 hour change in your chosen currency, and a percentage in here too. Then, if you want to find out more information, then click on to view details. And from here, you can create your alert. You can view price charts over time, some more in depth information about that crypto, as well as the price and any portfolio values that you have in here with orders and transactions. Then over on the right, it's very similar to the likes of Coinbase. We have the ability to make a simple buy or sell trade as a one-time trade, or we can make these recurring. And we can put in the amount that we'd like to purchase into here. So in this example, I'd like to buy £100 worth of Bitcoin. And if we review that order, you'll see the actual amount that I'll receive after the fees are taken. And with the exchange, that's £2.25 or 2.25% for a simple market order. And this fee will depend on your trading size and your location. Although this doesn't seem like a huge amount, these fees do certainly start to add up. At the moment, by creating an order through the exchange, you're paying the rate that is defined by Gemini, which will be inflated, and this is due to the convenience of just how easy it is to purchase in this way. Now, for example, over on CoinGecko.com, if I type in the amount of Bitcoin that I'd like to buy, and that's going to be 97.75 once I've removed that fee, I would receive 0.00685 Bitcoin. However, with Gemini, I'll actually be receiving 0.00670 Bitcoin. Plus, you'll also find that fees that you'll pay will depend on how you're accessing your trade, whether or not that be through the web application, via mobile, or via Active Trader, which is something that I'm going to show you in a moment in a way that you can reduce these fees from £2.25 to 35 pence. But if you're happy with the ease of use, and paying at the rate shown here. You can pay by clicking onto the payment method here. And you can use any active balance that you have here, or you can add in your bank details or pay with card. Now, I wouldn't personally ever recommend buying your Bitcoin with the likes of a credit or a debit card, as the charges can really start to add up, as you'll be paying 3.49% with a credit or debit card. And if you are happy to go ahead, you can then place your order and it will fill immediately at the current Gemini market price. But let's have a look at how we can reduce some of these fees now. And that's by using their trading platform, Active Trader. So if I just head back. So by using Active Trader, we're going to be able to create other order types. And I can reach that by clicking onto the link here. Or if I head across to my account and go to settings and down to exchange. You'll see that I can change to the trade interface, which is the Gemini Active Trader. And if I go back to the Gemini Exchange, you can now see that I've entered Active Trader. So this is seen as a more advanced trading platform, but if you learn how to use it, you can definitely save yourself some money on those transaction fees. It's very similar to Coinbase Pro offered by Coinbase, which I've recently covered in a tutorial and I'll cover a full tutorial of Active Trader at a later date. But let's go ahead and take a look at how we can create an order on here instead. And the first thing we'll need to do is select our market at the top of the screen here from the dropdown. Our market is essentially us selecting the type of crypto we want to buy with the currency we want to pay for it with. This could be Bitcoin and USD, and it can also be crypto to crypto trades. If, for example, you had some Bitcoin and wanted to trade it for Ethereum. Now, I'm going to go ahead and select Bitcoin in GBP, meaning that I'd like to buy Bitcoin with Great British Pounds. It'll then show me any available balance that I have to trade with in terms of the market that I've selected. And that's pulled the balance across from my Gemini trading account. If it hasn't done this, you can click on to see your balances and then click on to trade. So when I selected my market, 
you'll notice that the screen has populated with information in relation to Bitcoin in the GBP market. I have price charts and graphs. I've got order books on the right-hand side of the screen here, which are flashing all the time, with different orders currently going through. And I can select the type of order from the drop-down list here, which includes the likes of limit, stop limit, maker or cancel, immediate or cancel, fill or kill, or a simple market order. With the Gemini Exchange, we only had the option, which was an immediate market order, which automatically filled at the price that Gemini defined. Whereas with Active Trader, you can create orders, allowing you to define the price that you'd like to pay for Bitcoin or whichever crypto that you've selected. And the fees that you will pay depend on a maker take a fee. Now, I'm not a day trader. I personally hold my crypto for the long term, and therefore, my trading volume is less than 500,000. If I place an order at the current market value and is therefore completed immediately, I'm deemed as a taker of the market, as I'm taking the current market price and my fee is therefore 0.35%. However, if I was to become a maker of the market and define a new price that is not immediately matched by an order on the order book, I pay less at 0.25%. And these fees are quite a lot lower than the likes of Coinbase Pro at 0.5%. And when we become a maker of the market, this is where that limit order comes into place. So let's select that now. And under price here, this is where I'm gonna be defining the price that I'd like to pay. So I can type that into this section here. Or I can select a price from the buys at the top. And then I can go ahead and manually edit this. So I may wanna pay less than what's currently being asked at the market at the moment. I can then enter in the amount of Bitcoin or GBP that I'd like to get. So if I enter £100 into here, so that you can see it's the same as my previous order in terms of size. And now you can see that it's 35 pence as opposed to that £2.25. Now with that fee, it actually takes me slightly over my balance. So I'm going to reduce the amount now to £99. And the price has changed quite considerably since I actually went through this. So I'm going to go ahead and edit the price now so that I'm going to be paying less than the current ask. Now if you've made a mistake, or if the market dramatically changes, you can cancel any open order that's in here and then try again. And with your order now on the order book, you'll simply need to wait for the market to reach that price. And once your order's been met, your crypto will then be available in the same way as over on Gemini. So if I take a look at all my balances, you'll see that I now have an active Bitcoin balance. And if I just change back and head across to my portfolio, you can see that I've now got my balance appearing in Bitcoin too. And it provides me with my balance in both GBP and in Bitcoin. It tells me the current price and that asset as a percentage of my portfolio. Now say for example, you've held your crypto for a while and you wanted to cash out back into your own fiat currency. Well, the same process can be used for selling your crypto. You can either use this exchange and sell at the current market price. Or again, you can use Active Trader. Select the correct market and the order type. Enter in the price that you'd like to sell your Bitcoin at. And you can see that my fees here are estimated at 0.35%. And then you can go ahead and sell. And this is simply just to show you the process of how to sell and how to buy and not how I can make X amount in trading. Because as I said, I'm not a trader. I simply hold my crypto for the long term. Now, as you can see, there's lots of different types of trading options on Active Trader here, but I wanted to show you how you can save yourself some money from just simply trying a different order type. Now, withdrawing from Gemini is pretty simple to do. Simply head across to Transfer and go to Withdraw from Gemini. And from here, you have two options. That's to either withdraw fiat or crypto, depending on where you have an active balance. So if you still have your Bitcoin and you didn't sell it, 
This is where you can withdraw these to the safety of your wallet, such as the likes of a ledger or a trezor, which are two that I would personally recommend, and I'll pop links in the summary below for them. With an exchange, it's recommended that you withdraw your assets when you're not trading and across to the safety of a wallet with access to your private keys. An exchange with lots of funds on it is far more likely a target to get hacked. So if we want to withdraw our crypto, we'll select it from the list. And we'll then need to put in our receive address for our external wallet into this section. And please ensure that if you're withdrawing Bitcoin, that you send this to a Bitcoin address. And if you're sending Ethereum, it's an Ethereum address that you paste into this section. If you send to the incorrect address, you could potentially lose your funds. You then need to enter the amount that you'd like to withdraw, or you can click on to max. And crypto withdrawal fees will all depend on the amount that you're withdrawing, and it's on a crypto to crypto basis. And that includes wire transfers. And when you're ready to, you can then complete your withdrawal, which will then send across across to your external wallet. But let's take a look at withdrawing to GBP now instead, as we've sold our Bitcoin for British pounds. So we'll select that from the list. Then we can select the bank account that we deposited from. We can then enter in the amount and complete our withdrawal. And when I withdrew that back to my bank account, that just took a couple of hours. So that concludes my walkthrough of the Gemini Exchange. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.